Hello YouTube, this is the Computer Tips and today I want to talk about the new YouTube layout. It's the new YouTube channel layout called YouTube One Channel. If you guys, I believe, it's available for everybody. So if you guys want to get this new layout, just go to youtube.com slash one channel. So <clears throat> I want to go over everything that details the one channel, although I have not used it myself on my own channel. Um, I'm just going to go over some of the stuff that I read so far. So this is the page where you will go to get your one channel. Now they lay out some key stuff. It says make your first impression count. Um, this is kind of like when a person isn't subscribed and they go to your channel. A video will show up and you got I believe 45 seconds to m make a first impression. Then you have... Um, a banner that works across all devices as well as uh, I redesigned your playlist and these are all the channels that currently right now have it and this is like their channel design that they currently have on their channel so let's head over to the creators blog um, where it talks a little bit more about the three main activities that you do with your YouTube channel as I mentioned before you get to create a trailer and it won't play for any visitor that's subscribed to your channel. It will only play for anybody who is not subscribed to your channel right now. So it's kind of a way if somebody clicks on your channel, you have a chance to make a first impression and try to get a new subscriber from that video. Then you get to create a big channel art. I mean, this thing is big. And... This will add as your channel visual identity. And unlike the branding on your channel, it will look good across all screens and devices. So YouTube says. I mean, I haven't used it myself, nor have I seen the new design on, let's say, a mobile device. So far, I've only seen it on the PC. And I mean, this channel art's big. I mean, these are the guidelines for this uh, channel design. You're, we're doing a 2120 times 1192 pixel image I mean that's they're saying that's TV size and it goes uh, they have an area called logo save and this area is visible on all devices so that's 1280 times 350 and then for tablet they have 1536 times 350 and for desktop max they have 2120 times 350 but it's interesting that they're including um, the pixel specification for a TV. I mean, it's not any TV that I heard of, but it could be that they're planning something in the future with the TV related. I'm not sure. I mean, com companies by like YouTube or Google, I would gather that if let's say they get a contract or something going right now that people don't know about with a company like Samsung or Sharp or any other TV making companies, they're gonna know the next pixel image that those TVs are gonna be coming out. So they could be preparing for that and they could be preparing for something that's gonna be pretty big. I mean, you don't just ask us to make a 2120 times 1192 pixel image if you're not gonna use the rest of the image for something. I mean, they have to be using it for something because what's the point of having such a large image on YouTube if we're only going to be seeing a max of 2120 times 350 it makes no sense so obviously they have to be preparing for something that they're not ready to announce yet I mean that's just a thought that's how I think that it's uh, is what they're doing but I could be wrong and um then they have, uh, you can organize your channels, videos, and playlists so they work best for your audience and programming. So I like this. Uh, I honestly like it, although I don't have it on my channel currently. I think uh, it has some good sides to it as well as some things I don't like about it. I mean, I like the fact that you get to create a trailer that shows up for people who aren't subscribed to your channel. Uh, I'm not a fan of the channel art. I feel that you're limited now. You, I've done some research. Apparently, you, you, um, you can't have uh, the links anymore on your 
branding like before like clickable links of your YouTube partner and your channel branding um, so it's kind of limited I mean they kind of want to limit the way your channel looks now and that's how I see it as far as channel art now the playlist I like the way it's set up it makes it easier for example my subscribers to find what they're looking for and uh, that's what I think so far of it I'm I, like I said I haven't tried it might as well I guess let's just click get started I and mean, why not so let's see what it does to my channel it says uh, welcome to your new channel your channel has been upgraded to a new look we made it easier for subscribers to access your channel and control what shows up click next alright let's see what it says alright sections use the section to organize your videos and playlists we created a few to get you started let's click next um, channel setup checklist use this handy checklist to continue to set up and explore your new channel choose your channel art I already mentioned that uh, alright so that's it and this is the trailer for people who are not subscribed to my channel no uh, uh, it's okay I mean like I mentioned uh, it's not out of this world because and then there's a few things I don't like about it like I mentioned limited channel branding options and it's like they're limited the way you can change your look of your channel and it's kind of odd because YouTube never waits around this time to release something new like that they usually do it around December time I'm surprised they didn't release it Re I'm sorry released it around that time but uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this uh, I just wanted to go over what my thoughts of the new um, channel design and obviously I ended up picking the channel design now I'm gonna be looking at ways to revert this back to the old one if there is a way I'm gonna do some research about that so who knows maybe that'll be coming up that'll be in an upcoming video on ways to go back to the last channel design if you don't want this one um, but don't expect that anytime up soon since it is gonna be me doing a lot of research for a long time before I decide to finally put up the channel design and who knows I might not even put it up at all since the last time I did it people were complaining oh this is out of date because it didn't work for them they got there let's say a week after YouTube patched it and now it's my fault uh, it doesn't work so not up to arguing with people about that but anyways uh, I think I went on a small little rant there so I'll just cut this video short if you guys enjoyed it. Uh, remember to subscribe, like the video, and comment on your thoughts with the new channel layout. I mean, are you going to use it for your own channel or are you just going to stay with the old channel layout? I'll see you guys later.